Charlie Moist Critical and a content creator by the name of Yuri kind of got into a little debacle here. And I want to unpack that for you guys. Basically, Charlie Moist Critical put up a video that got 3 million views on his channel now. I looked at this and I thought the same thing. It is a pretty bad argument. Uh, and the argument was that this guy was mad at his girlfriend because she didn't show him this video she posted like 10 years ago. Why won't you tell me about that? I, first of all, I totally forgot about that. You can That's look convenient. It was so long ago. We never made it a serious thing. We filmed like two, things, two things. We filmed two things. We started 10 Talks together and we like talked about being I on forgot. a podcast. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. And you were like, I've never and that wasn't a I've never done anything like this before. So this video that was already viral on Twitter got even more viral because of Charlie's 3 million view video. And so this kind of blew up in this guy's face and he's very scared of that so what do you do he responded to it charlie really didn't make anything worse so to speak he just kind of put it in people's faces and i do think that had some adverse effects to this and he kind of even gets into this himself so let's just hear out this guy and his response to charlie because it's, it's kind of a rare moment in time guys Obviously, I don't need to apologize to you guys or to the camera to apologize to my girlfriend. I've already apologized to my girlfriend. We've already talked about this. And on top of it, he apologized because he was, again, yelling at her or just getting mad at her for her not showing him this 10-year-old uh, YouTube video that she posted with her friends. And she doesn't even owe that to him. That doesn't, nothing should change there. She shouldn't have to show him this video. And that is the, you know, morally correct thing in this situation. We got over this like whole thing very quickly. I'm like still shocked that this has become such a viral thing. It feels weird saying that, but fucking, we got over this like immediately and I've already um, kind of spoke on this earlier. So like, that's why, you know, I hope no one seem like may feel like I'm coming off disingenuine or coming off like I don't care-ish or whatever it is and it's not that way at all but all I'm trying to say is like I I, I, talk, I, I literally have this like my fourth or fifth time talking about this shout out to back on fig Tiro he gave me the whole breakdown earlier on how I fucked up and I know guys I know I uh <clears throat> I fucked up <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sorry to my girlfriend I'm sorry to the people who like are upset at me for doing this, right? I re reacted incorrectly, and I already took account accountability for that. But like, I feel like now that this most critical thing has come out, people are saying other shit's going on. I feel like I have to say it again. I fucked up. I shouldn't have reacted like that that night, guys. I don't. This is bro. This is fucking insane for me, bro. I average two hundred viewers. I average two hundred viewers. I chill late nights and I smoke spliffs and I talk to my chat. We listen to music and we have a good time. That night. I may have taken a couple of shots because it was literally the weekend, bro. It was the weekend. I was chilling, taking a couple of shots. So wait a minute. Is he about to blame this on alcohol? Because alcohol could be one reason, but it's not the whole reason. Even if you're under the influence, you should have some basic knowledge that what you're saying is just wrong, right? I get it. If you're drunk... You're just kind of spewing words out of your mouth, but you should have some sort of knowledge on this matter, right? And then someone donated for me to react to that video. The person who donated for that, apparently they didn't expect such a reaction. I'm not sure, but they didn't expect such a reaction. I watched that video. I talked to Riley about this this conversation before. I was like, you know, we started podcasts together. I was like, you know, have you ever done anything like this before? It's not, and I know people are going to be to be like, oh, bro, this is not pornography. This is not some other shit like that. I agree, right? All I'm saying is we've had the conversation before where, where it's like, have you ever done anything like this before? You know, video content, podca podcast, anything like that? She said no. So when that video came in, I was just like, I had this initial, initial reaction of like feeling betrayed or lied to, right? I should, if, you know, maybe if I wasn't as lit that night or something like that, but... If anything, I feel like the right response to that, if you found something, like an old video, the correct response would be like, oh yeah, that's really cool. You should just be excited. You shouldn't be yelling at her, because even if the video in the hypothetical had something like, I don't know, maybe like an ex-boyfriend or something like that in it, right? Not that it does. Even then, in that hypothetical, she doesn't owe him anything at all. So it's just an odd... <laughs> you could take this to the like most extreme situation 
and she doesn't owe him anything from 10 years ago. It is just the weirdest stance to take, no matter how much alcohol is in your system, no matter what. <laughs> I had the initial reaction of being like kind of confrontational about it. I should have kept those feelings for afterwards. I should have kept those feelings of however I felt about it for off stream to conversate about it off stream. Either way, you shouldn't have shared these feelings with her because they're incorrect no matter what. And I feel like if you're under the age of maybe like 16, you might agree with this guy and be like, no, bro, you know, she should have told him because that I means she's lying to him or, you know, I don't know. I don't know what the, you know, not mature response is going to be to this, but it's like, Ay ay ay, man. I addressed it immediately and then I've made a, a fool of myself, a fool of our a fool of our relationship. And on top of that, it's fucking gone so bro, everyone's oh my god, everyone's talking about this shit. And it's just like, bro, I can't be mad at the situation because it's my fault. I made a mistake. I fucked up. You know what I mean? So I can't be mad at anyone but myself at this point. But also, I literally told Riley a long time ago, I was like, bro, one of my biggest fears is for Moist Critical to make a negative video about me because I do IRL content, I do a lot of other content, and people can, you know what I mean, like take my content the way they perceive. They can be like either mad about it or sad about it or happy about it. But someone can definitely take my content and be like, bro, this guy is out of control. This is the new fucking Johnny Somali. Or I'm not. I'm not doing shit like he is. But people can twist shit. You know. You know we <laughs> comments right here. You're drunk and extra insecure, and it's like, dude, you kind of set yourself up for this one by you know having this on the internet or by even just reacting like this. He totally put himself in this trap. Your negative way. So I don't know. Like basically, and I'm not saying moist criticals twisting shit in a negative way. I fucked up, guys. I fucked up. I'm not, uh, in the right here. Bro, I don't know how to feel, bro. This is so, bro, this is so much, man. I have a lot of people just call me the worst boyfriend in the world. But also, guys, can I remind you, uh, for anyone, oh, to no name earlier who's asking, yo, you should have Riley react to this with you. Guys, Riley never signed up for any of this. I'm the streamer, bro. I stream, I do internet content, I'm, I've been a content creator for a long time now. Riley is, like, getting into into streaming and like into content creating, you know what I mean? Like slowly but surely and trying to learn about it and like, you know, do stuff on her own. But uh, she didn't sign up for anything like this. And this is literally my fault. I did this. I like, I was a terrible boyfriend. I had a negative reaction. I shouldn't have acted like this at all. And, and also I don't want anyone thinking like, bro, like, oh, he, this guy is taking accountability because the internet has called him out. Riley and I literally talked about this after that stream, after that stream ended, Riley and I talked about this and we like, I realized I'm like, okay, no, I can't be upset at her for something that happened 10 years ago where like, bro, I don't know what I've done. I've actually, some things I know what I've done and some things I don't know what I've done. You know what I mean? Like for like internet content and all that stuff where people have donated or like, oh, re react to this, react to that. It's like, sometimes I know, sometimes I don't know. And it's like, I can't get mad at her for not remembering certain things, especially from 10 years ago. I was 100% tripping, bro. So I can't take enough accountability for that. At least he's taking some kind of accountability and recognizing that what he did was just objectively wrong here. But it does still feel like he's blaming this on the fact that, you know, he was drunk, even though he talked to his girlfriend about it. It just feels weird, man. I don't know how else to put this to you. It's just, it's such an easily avoidable thing that he got in the middle of. I would have never even expected to be on a Moist Critical video. And like I said, bro, my hands are fucking shaking, but I just wanted, before we got into this video, I wanted to take accountability so that no one gets anything twisted. You know, this is just yet another person calling me out. I've had Flacco. I've had a, a bunch of people in my DMs. I've had Tyrell. I've had the Instagram page. I've had I've had a lot of people tell me I'm in the wrong. And trust me, I know. I know I'm in the wrong. The only really crazy situation here that I could imagine it being okay for him to get mad about is like maybe he was with his girlfriend for all these years and then like today he finds out she has kids that she was like hiding from him or something like that. And maybe in that situation, he could, you know, have some sort of response to it. But that's not even the case. This is just an old video.
from the past that has no sustenance at all that he got this mad. <laughs> it just feels like such a nothing burger situation. It just keeps getting worse, bro. Oh my god. This is like peeling the band-aid off right now. The idea that it's just a stupid argument. And the main, main, main thing that's like I did incorrectly there is try to talk about it on camera and react emotionally on camera. And that's the whole thing where people talk about how you have to be able to be in control of your emotions for the better and for the good. The reason why I reacted like that is because I felt like we had had this conversation before and I got a different answer and now um, I got like a completely different answer. So even then... She still hasn't done anything like morally or objectively wrong. She never owed it to you to talk about this. It's like one of those things that if you're talking to someone and you find out something like at random or maybe like another detail about something that has no direct effect on you guys or you or isn't hurting anybody, it doesn't even matter. Like, at this point, it just feels like he has had or has some kind of insecurity about this in some weird way. And I feel like this is a much deeper issue as much as I'm, like, goofing and gaffing on this. It does seem like a much larger issue as far as insecurities go, where people get, like, really insecure about themselves that they feel like this person owes them every little ounce of information they need their like give me your credit card number and oh give me you know the the size of the clothes that you're wearing like all these like weird details that have nothing to do with anything at all and you know heaven forbid that you don't get those details then you know it's gonna be a problem i think it's kind of odd like no one really owes you unimportant details i mean i think anyone listening to this maybe not anyone maybe most people listening to this can vouch for me and i say that even some of your closest friends you don't know these like random details about them you don't know how much they paid when they last went to the grocery store or something like that stuff doesn't have anything to do with anything had i waited and and been a mature adult and held on to my emotions and my reactions had i waited and talked to my girlfriend riley afterwards she would have explained to me exactly what's going on. This is 10 years old. This is blah, 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 whatever. All that's, you know, like all the details behind it. And I would have understood. But at that moment, I just reacted um, completely childishly, I guess. I think we already got the crux of his apology here. He kind of just ends up talking in circles throughout reacting to Charlie's video, essentially saying the same thing over and over again. Like, hey, I fucked up. You know, it was me. We talked about it and that we're cool. It was just a dumb situation. I felt like I had to cover this because he actually responded to Charlie. So I felt the urge to kind of cover this. So uh, yeah, hopefully this all makes sense. And you guys understand if you have for some reason the opposing viewpoint on this, leave a comment down below. I'm interested if someone really genuinely deep down thinks the opposite of what I'm saying here. So let me know, and without further ado, if you enjoy this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.